If you clicked on this video, you probably just got your first Blythe doll and you wonder how to open her and how to put her together after you customize her. Don't worry, in today's video I'm going to show you step by step in a really easy way how to do it. If you are new on my channel, hi, my name is Anri Customize Dolls and I make custom dolls and sell them on Etsy. To open the doll, you need scissors, screwdriver and tweezers. The very first thing you need to do is to cut the string on the back of the doll head. Now it's time for the screws. Blythe doll has three screws on the back. The screw at the top is the smallest one. So I recommend to put this screw somewhere you will remember that it was the smallest screw. It will be easier for you later to put the doll together. Inside the head are two snaps that keeps the doll together, so you need to push the doll's head to open them. I recommend to use pillow for that. This part of opening the doll can be scary because you will hear the sound of plastic. Don't worry, it's normal sound. It means that the head is open. Don't worry about breaking the spring because you won't use it later anyway. Now you need to detach the eye mechanism from the face. There are two screws inside, but now we are going to focus only on the screw that is on the bottom. This little white piece that you need to detach from the face is very important for the eyes to work properly, so keep it in safe space with the screw for later. To detach the eye mechanism, grab the one side of the eyes and pull the face in opposite direction. The eyes will pop out from the face. You will hear the plastic sound. Don't worry, it's normal. Detaching the eyes from the eyelids, it's almost the same like detaching the eye mechanism from the face. It will be easier if you use tweezers. Now pull out the eyes from the eyelids. We just need to unscrew the last screw in the face. Take your time because it's hard to reach. Take out the old string from the eyelids and now your doll is ready to customize. When you are done with the customizing the doll, now it's time to put her back together. 
Attach two new strings to the eyelids, one on the top and one on the bottom. You can decorate the strings when the doll will be put together. Attach the middle part of the eye mechanism and then add the left eye and the right eye. I recommend to use tweezers to put this inside the eyelids. Now attach the eye mechanism to the face. Attach the one side of the eye mechanism and then grab the face and pull the face so you will make the space for the eyes to pop in. Now you can attach the hair to the face. Before you close the doll's face, you need to attach this small white piece with the screw. My doll doesn't have a new face up, so I didn't have to put her back together on the pillow, but I highly recommend you to do it if your doll will have a face up. It will protect the face from scratches. Now your doll has two new strings that you need to thread through the holes. I don't recommend to thread them through only one hole because later you will have problems with changing the eyes. So follow me how I do it. Before you close the head, make little space for the body and then close the head with the body inside. Now you will see two snaps that needs to be closed. Push them and they will close themselves.
And finally is the last step of putting the doll back together. Remember that the smallest screw is going to the top. And your doll is ready! Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you liked it. If you did, please subscribe if it's not done already. And see you in the next video. Bye bye!